LiveCast is Monday night, and it's a huge Monday night. For the first time in LiveCast history, let me just say, we're not just talking about a few shows. We're talking, this is show 190, boys, 197? Seven. Seven. Or no, 198. 198. 198. 198. In 198 shows, we have never had music, ever. And tonight we will. So excited about it. Why don't you clarify? Tonight we're having live music. Oh, live yeah. music. Live, live music. music. Live music. In house. The people tool. just heard I'm music. Sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez. Live music. Well, it's been, I put on my Facebook. This old man. Steph Johnson and uh, Rob Thorson are here. Uh, sure, you can show that piece on my, just a picture of them, Lynn. On the Facebook, On yeah. the Facebook. Uh, warming up. They were playing. And don't, it was with my iPhone. So don't, don't listen to the sound and go, oh, that's not going to be great. It's going to be amazing. And uh, for those who don't know, yes. Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy. You should say forward slash because some people oh, yeah. might do a backwards slash. Uh, you, forward, uh, you're right. It's forward you slash. You choose the strangest things to focus on. <laughs> I was only kidding. It was a joke. Wait, I'm going to get this going tonight. I'm making this thing that in our house we call saucy pasty, which is a stupid way of saying sausage <laughs> pasta. Uh, and here's what it starts with. It starts with uh, hot Italian sausage. You could use mild, oh, yeah. but I don't think these things are that hot that they're going to blow anybody's mouth no, open. No, it's not really. Sp it's it's more flavor. It's lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. But of course, these are look. These are sausages that could go like this, just in a pan by themselves or on a grill. That I like to take the knife and slice it open, and then I can use the sausage like, like a ground beef, right? Ground beef, ground pork, ground chicken, that kind of thing. That's what's true. Do you know? What'd no. you say? <laughs> that didn't work, Max. I started, I know. I That's know. why I didn't finish it. Thank you. Come on. Did you know that if you were making uh, meatballs, instead of just using regular beef or pork, mm -hmm. you could throw this in along with it and it would be super delicious. I love this stuff. But I don't like what it does in my hands. I, okay, so. here's a question that I have. Yeah. For the first decade of my life, my yeah. only recollection yes. was of... Uh, my mother making this. Yeah. So does that mean that it's her recipe? For the first, uh... Is it her recipe? Oh, is it your recipe? Uh, I, I can't hear you, Max. I don't really know what you're saying. He's asking if it's your recipe. No, I heard him. I was making a joke. Yes, this is some... Okay, let's just, just stop hear. talking, Mom. This is something that Mom used to make all the time, and now that I cook, I'm the one that makes it all the time. Mom still thinks that she makes it better than me. So you see how, look at, like this piece right here. You see how it's already browning, mm -hmm. right? We want that all the way around. So you're just gonna break this up. This is a super simple recipe. There's like five or six ingredients to this. Tastes like a lot more by the time you're done. But I just wanna get this going right here. Question. Yep. You didn't throw any uh, oil or butter in there, No, there was, a, there was a little oil in the pan. I okay. started the pan uh, warming up, then I threw a little bit of oil in. Gotcha. Gotcha. And I got a pot of hot water here. Oh. Oh, you needed one of us to remind you about bread. Yeah. yeah I want to make. You're so all I good. Wanna, I want to serve this with bread. And I got this great loaf that I'm gonna cut open and butter. I'm gonna do on the flat griddle. It's gonna be great. You know what? I just want to give a big thank you to all those who chose us over the presidential debate. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Obama's gonna win anyway, it doesn't matter. You know, I bet you some people have us on the computer screen and on the TV oh, yeah. at the same time. If you have that, show us. I wanna see it. Hey, can I tell you that the competition that ended last week makes me wanna do another competition. Oh yeah. I had so many people come up to me this weekend and, and tell me how much they enjoyed it and. If they'd known it was going to be like that, they would have entered, and they didn't. I go, why? So why? What did you think it was going to be? Did you think it would suck? There's the finalists right there: there Heather Walker and Don Guzman. Both, interestingly enough, not from San Diego. No, I don't know. Heather what that was means. from Scottsdale, and Don was from Sa Stockton. Uh, Stockton. I always think uh, Sacramento for some reason. Okay, Kelly, is this the point I should be adding garlic? We argue about this. I don't like putting garlic in too early. Yes, of course. It's supposed to be in while that is browning. But I feel like if you put garlic in too early, it burns. No, and no, I don't no. want Sam, that. Sam? Yeah? I love that necklace on your shirt, man, but it's killing me. Oh. <laughs> is it banging? Oh, is that yeah. One it is? But it's, it's a nice necklace, man. I got okay. one, too. Yeah. We're all rocking them tonight. 
Okay, Do you have one, then? Well, I, Max gifted me with one tonight. It's great. Jordan gifted you. Jordan gifted. I was just oh, the messenger. Yeah, right oh, I can't wait to see what one I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. I got my new one all black on black. I like it. Oh. Okay. Very creative Here we are. Family. We're browning this in about three minutes. This is going to be browned enough, and I'm going to be able to add some cream to this. Kelly <laughs> adds nutmeg. Do you want me to add nutmeg, Kelly? I don't think I actually have any. I have nutmeg. Add nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon. But I think nutmeg is, is, is kind of a waste of time. I don't like it. It's too pumpkin-y, Christmas-y. But if you want nutmeg, sweetheart, I will add nutmeg. Whose recipe is it? Mine. Sure yeah, recipe. that's what I thought. Right. And who makes it better? Me. Okay, here, look a little nutmeg. Mother does. No, well, see, you're going to... No, Sam! That's Whoa. enough. I just barely put any you in. You just turned it into a pumpkin pie. <laughs> Jesus. Honest to God, you blew so I it. I told you I shouldn't have added it, stupid crap. Oh, you blew it. Heavy he's on so the stubborn. Hand. You think he's it's heavy on the vodka. <laughs> it's heavy on the nutmeg. Okay, so there, this is done, right? I can turn this down. Yep. And now watch. Now cream, right, Kel? Yep. How much? Show me your container. Like three quarters of that. Oh, I only have half. I'm going to add a fine. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. So no, this, isn't, not this isn't the most healthy pasta, but, no, but it's here's unbelievable. The you know what? The deal is, Max, you only Hey, turn some. that down a little bit. Don't worry. Gonna, don't worry. All right. I got okay, a little half and half. I'm gonna kick a little, <laughs> I got to kick a little half and half into it. Oh, God. It's going to be fine. It always works out, Kel. So now the goal at this point is just to let this start to thicken. Yeah, and simmer, about, not boil. It's not boiling. <laughs> this is like the argue cast. <laughs> there we go. Now it's not even doing anything. I haven't even seasoned it. I need to season it too. What season's uh, going? Salt and pepper. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Spider J on Twitter has also reminded me and us that we're debating with, or I mean, we are competing against the uh, oh, Giants man. and Cardinals football? game seven. We got a whole. And, and football. And, and football. So baseball, football, and the debate. Oh, my goodness. Who cares? You know what? There's a lot of people that watch this after the fact. That's true. And in fact, most people watch it after the fact. Okay. A lot of this people listen after the fact. Listen after the fact. And okay. for those that are listening, he's got a big pan full of meat and cream. <laughs> meat and cream. Oh, God. That sounds disgusting. That All sounded right, really see. bad, yeah. <laughs> Huge pan of meat and cream. God, that sounds awful, Max. <laughs> all right. I'm all, all right. jazzed about this. I'm so excited. Jazz. I wrote my thing. Uh, I'm, I'm all jazzed that uh, Steph and Robert are here tonight. Pun intended. <laughs> so you get that? Uh, so I said jazzed wow. and then I said so pun good. intended. You are freaking clever. Uh, I go to the supermarket today, Vaughn's. And you know I'm a fan of the self-checkout. I don't need conversation with people. I can do my own thing. So you go up, and people don't know this, but you don't have to like introduce yourself to the machine and get all cozy and everything before you start scanning, at least not at Vaughn's. At Ralph's, you have to punch some shit first. You can walk up to Vaughn's, grab your first thing, and you haven't done anything, you just go boom, boom and it starts scanning right away, right? Mm -hmm. So I do that. I scan all my groceries. I say finish, and then I'm gonna do my credit card and stuff, right? My debit card. I hit finish, it spits out the receipt. I don't think I put any credit card information Wait, in or anything. Mm. I'm saying usually when you say yeah. finish and pay, right. yeah. it then asks you for how you wanna pay. Yeah. So you Cash, got blah, 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 right? Free. So out comes the receipt. And I go, oh, wait, what? <laughs> How did this work? And I look at it and I see my items. And I know I haven't, I'm quite certain I haven't put my number in. I haven't put my card in. And I see down somewhere in the pay part, it says debit card. And now I'm like, wait. Weird. How stupid am I? Have I just completely blacked out and missed the last <laughs> 30 seconds of this transaction? It's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. You got the, roofied again. The point is, 
<laughs> I had to make a decision at that point. Do I just take the groceries, not certain whether I paid or not, or do I say something? You, I, I can, I can tell. I already know what you did. What I do? You said something. Of course I did. You well, are. Well, you are. So, for no, sure. not not like. Of course okay, I did. I said that's to the, the right g- thing to do, and you would do that a hundred out of a hundred times. I do. I said to the guy, "Excuse me, I'm in favor of free groceries. If that's what's happening here, <laughs> if I'm like the one millionth customer this month or whatever, I'm happy to accept these. But I don't think I paid for this." And the guy comes over and he goes, well, let's take a look. He goes, what'd you do? And I explain it. He goes, let's look at the receipt. He goes, did you buy this? I go, yes. He goes, did you buy this? I go, yes. Did you buy this? No, I didn't buy nail clippers. Nail clippers were on the receipt. So someone scanned. Now there's three other things on the receipt that weren't mine. And he looks and he goes, well, how'd you pay? I go, well, I don't remember paying. Oh God. So he goes down and says, debit. He goes, debit card? I go, that's what I use. He goes, hold on. Scrolls down further. There's the last four digits of debit. He goes, is this your number? I go, no. He goes, I know what happened. I go, what? He goes, the last person came up. They bought their clippers, their nail clippers and their toe fungus gel or whatever the hell they bought. They said pay. Yeah, yeah. They put their card in, Uh their number in. But they never finalized the transaction, and they just left. and then they walked they just away. Their yeah. stuff up and walked out. So I came oh. up, and the machine thought I was still just adding some things from the transaction yeah. before. That's so it fair. let me do it. <laughs> They're gonna get a rude surprise. <laughs> no, because I because I said this, the guy is gonna now back out the things from my transaction. Right. Yeah. And just leave that. They're gonna if they look at their bill, they're gonna have one number and then a, a and then a credit which will be confusing to them. And they won't know why that's happening. I mean, geez, at least you didn't buy like $1,000 worth of groceries and swipe and just leave. <laughs> I could have done it. <laughs> yeah. But I could not leave not knowing if I paid or not. That was not that. In my mind, that does not compute. It's, Sam, how- I believe in karma so big you have no idea. Mm-hmm. And it's funny, I didn't believe in karma until I started my own business. Huh. Then, and I don't know why, and I don't want people to think that I was a piece of shit <laughs> when I worked for other people, and now I'm uh, you know, an honorable guy. But for some reason, the day I left the biotech company, that's when this started to kick in. I don't know what it was. Interesting. Yeah. Someone on Facebook says, Sam for president. Yes. Oh, that's what I say, except I'm Canadian. Oh and, you I know, will take it. Honest Sam. Corey man. Bravo. And I don't understand too much about foreign... Politics. governments and politics and stuff like that i'm just i'm this guy can't we all just get along let's just sit down at a big dinner and let's talk about our differences can't we work this stuff out so what are, what are your red lines on iran <laughs> wait a minute i want to call lynn out on this yeah lynn says oh somebody says sam for president and the comment lynn writes no that's a terrible idea <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Whoa, wait 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 who three, and by the way really? three comments. Who like that someone Some like that guy named lynn chi <laughs> uh Maybe it's not that bad. And by the way, not only, sorry, Shannon. Oh, you were the worst. Oh. I just had to jump up. What? No, I just had to jump up. I just, it didn't require anything other than me running, running. <laughs> Maybe you could have just said, hey, Shannon, you're good. Okay, I'll do that next time. Jeez. But here's the thing. I heard the sound. I say this all the time and I smelled it. You have to use your senses, ladies and gentlemen, when you're cooking, all of them. Just because a recipe says, do this and do this and then let it cook for this long. If it says, let it cook for 40 minutes. After five minutes, if you smell smoke and see smoke, <laughs> get your ass up and go look because something's gone wrong. I, I don't know. Sorry, this is random. I don't know if anybody else saw this last night, but there was a thing called uh, Night of Too Many Stars hosted by Jon Stewart. And it, <laughs> no, was, oh, yeah. it was just a big benefit for uh, autism, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And night, it's exactly what it sounds like, the Night of Too Many Stars. They had people everywhere. And uh, right. Paula Dean was one of them, and she yeah. came out and did a skit. With a big thing, like a big a bu- giant thing of butter. Stuck in, yeah, a big talking butter. Yeah. She's such an idiot. I'm it's sorry. Bad. I don't like her. I've said it before. Mm-hmm. I think she tried to hide the fact that she had diabetes until she signed that pharmaceutical deal. I think that was wrong. It was morally wrong of her. And I don't like her. You think she had a moral obligation to use to her tell voice? All, to, to tell her fans, okay, 
I have diabetes and it could be because of the way that I've been eating forever. Right. right. Because she has a duty to them to maybe help them prevent Absolutely. what happened Absol- to her. Absolutely. I agree. I right. completely agree. Hey, according to his website, the stick of butter was Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Hey, w- wait, wait. I just oh, want to yeah. go back to there Lynn being really mean to me. No, I was not being mean. That's to okay. You, whatever, oh, dude. Man. Whatever you, you want to say. The butter there? I want to go back to <laughs> Kevin Bacon. That's funny. Oh, let's I wait, want to go you back. See how thin she looks. I want to go. She yeah, because she ate super eating, thin. She yeah. ain't eating all the shitty food, y'all, that made her have <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, diabetes. You're right. You're right. <laughs> She's not eating the butter and all that stuff anymore. <laughs> she found a different way to eat. Now that she's getting paid by a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to me hating you. Yeah. I don't yeah, get it. Well, too, so too not, too only, not only <laughs> did I um, uh, wish you a happy birthday yesterday, oh, you Long did, Lynn. You did. Me too. Oh, Kelly thanks. too. In fact, I was someone that told him. Happy birthday, Lynn. I, I have too many things in my mind to keep up with birthday dates. <laughs> I have Kelly to do that for me. No. Mm-hmm. But uh, we got you a birthday present. No. Ma- no. Max, will you... Get out of here, dude. Get it out of the... We didn't get... Wait, what birthday present? Max, just give it to him. Birthday, birthday. Okay, fine. All right, Lynn. I'm a little confused now. We have a little birthday present here for you. We have a little birthday present for Lynn. Here you go, my friend. Oh, are you kidding me? Right there. By the way, by the way, check the rap job. That's all me, bitch. I thought it was Jewish stars for a second, but... That's all me. Do I open it now? Yeah, Of course you do. Come on. You can run, but you cannot hide. Is it... Boy, is it going to be like something that pops out of no, me? No, don't worry. About Remember, it. we are a family of trolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the heck out of here. Yeah. yeah. Told you. Roku, baby. I can watch us now. Roku. <laughs> Look at that. Roku. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. This is, Sam, this is just what I needed, man. We figured it was just what you needed, This Lynn. is just so not what I only is and that you know an amazing what? present. He can watch us on it. <laughs> That's he can the watch point. our show. That's the point. So, uh, so if you don't know, the Sam Livecast has its own channel on Roku. Oh yeah, the last we do. thirty shows, boys. Yes, the last thirty shows are uh-huh. there. You can watch it, it big, beautiful, high def on your big screen, on your wall, great. on your counter, wherever it is. Uh-huh. And for Whenever those that don't want. know, for those that don't know, a Roku is um, a streaming an online. <laughs> what is it? It's an online digital streaming device. So you hook it up to your TV, right. you hook it up to the internet, and then you can watch online content like anything on HBO Go or anything on Netflix or anything on Hulu, stuff like that. It's it's awesome. And it's actually a great way if you're looking to bring your bills down, get rid of your cable just use this. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm sure you're paying for internet already. Get mm-hmm. rid of your cable. Just use this. Uh, now, I know plenty of people that part. don't have cable anymore. Mm-hmm. They just you know, have and that. And so for the longest time, one of the knocks against it was, okay, um, what if I want to watch things like live sports or live news, things like that? You used to not be able to do that. But now what they're doing is everywhere is coming out with channels. Like the Huffington Post just came out with a channel. And uh, the Daily Huffington, Show has Max, a channel. Max, Max, like this that. is Ariana Huffington talking okay, to so you. Okay, so Max, I'm curious. Yeah. You're going to make a move, I think, probably in January. Yeah. Are you going to move and get cable again? No, oh, that's a good question. No, that, no that's a great question. And uh, I'd say no. Max, but you can watch the Huffington channel time, on the Just this last year, I'd say I, I was happy to have cable <laughs> because of, just like I said, not everything was available on the Roku. But now, almost everything is. So. And, and uh, HBO... Uh, HBO Go. Was HBO goes on there, right? What? Yeah. What which, changed my life? Which is a change. <laughs> which is a <laughs> great thing. Life. Well, By the way, life, thank you for great. completely ignoring my Ariana Huffington. I know. I liked it a lot. Which I thought Hello, was pretty good. Sam? No, that sounds like an old Asian woman, oh, okay. man. <laughs> that was not good. The mother-in-law Sam almost had. All right, but look it. It's <laughs> time. It's time yeah. for. It's time for music. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's have look. Let's let's have them come in. Get in their position. Yes. Okay, let's have them come in and get in come their on, position. Come on, team. So we haven't, we haven't, you know, look it. We don't have separate studios. We had to really work this out. The Ooh, first sorry. time we did this. Hold oh, oh, you, sweetie. Go, go get over there. So the, this is the first time we've done this. And honestly, it took some work and some thinking about the way to set it up. Because, because we didn't know. We didn't yeah, know where to sure. put them. And it's not yeah. like you just one person with a set of bongos. You've got Rob with that gigantic stand-up bass. How old is that base, Rob? 160 years. It's 160 years old? Yep. Wait, really? Really? Yeah. Wow. No joke, huh? Wow. Wow. Okay, so look. Cool. I just ha- I have a few questions. 
what? <laughs> you what? No, I said I had a few questions, and then I leaned back, and my um, pack turned the volume up super high. Oh, great. <laughs> and I kind of freaked myself out a little bit. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> we can but, talk about how we met, how I met you and your lovely wife. Uh, I talked about that the other day. Oh, so Best of San Diego Magazine event. We're standing there drinking our hand, don't really know very many people, looking around, and it was Kelly that goes like this. Oh my God. No, you know what happened? Where's that mute? What? Yeah, you were socializing and everyone was coming up to you and <laughs> I ended up like standing there like an idiot. So I'm standing Honey, there. Honey, the word we use is wallflower. All of a sudden I hear this and I'm like, oh my God. I was like a homing pigeon. I'm like, get me over there. And I, homing pigeon. again, I was like standing, staring like a freak. Right. I remember, Loved it. I remember when, because um, I had a bank job then. I had a full-time bank job, and I you remember, did then. And this I, was two thousand and eight. Yeah, or no, seven. Seven? Maybe? Could it be? I think. Because I was going to ask you about that. Look, I'm a fan. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, just that. Um, and I remember one of you bought my records yeah. off iTunes, and it yes. was all Sam at samthecookingguy.com. And I was at work. I was at the bank. And I was like, <laughs> I think Sam the Cooking Guy just bought my record. Oh, that's, that's so funny. That's so funny. I remember totally when we met. <laughs> yeah. I bought it. So you know, I'll tell you something. So, look, one of the things I like about you, apart from the fact that we adore your music, we adore your voice. And I'm into your cooking and I get to eat some. Yeah, thank you. You get to mm -hmm. eat some after. Uh, is this, is that you were in banking. Mm -hmm, I was. In 2008. And what was it? Was the music always there? Uh, kind of. I mean, I... Um Lately, it's funny, like people, I, I think because I'm doing more like interviews or more little right. things, people are asking me about the banking thing. So it's really funny that it keeps coming up. But right. um, I worked in banking from the time I was 16 yeah. until 2008 when we had our little crisis and everybody pretty much like lost their, can we swear? Yes. They lost oh, their shit. They did lose their shit. <laughs> so I basically was like, well, you know what? This all isn't my reality. Stay close to the mic. This was not, that was not my reality. Yeah. And, um, and, and a lot of the people that I worked with, you know, were like worried about losing this job that I kind of like didn't really feel so passionate about. Right. Although I love the people that I saw all the time, like all these people. So how much, how much time are you spending while you have a banking job on music? Well, so that's the thing. You wake up at 630 and you, go, you get your lady shoes on and your nylons or whatever. And then you go to work and you're at work all day long and you get home <laughs> and then you're exhausted. Yeah. So... I would do some gigs, and I released two CDs, actually. You did? I did, but I couldn't really tour on them or anything. But, but in your mind, are you thinking someday you're going to be a musician, or someday this banking environment will get better and you'll stay in that job? I was always like really practical, and I like wanted to be able to have like a little bit of money in the bank and right. have a car and all that stuff. And then you know, when I walked away from the security of that job, and yeah. I let go and jumped into the universe... Yeah. Actually, all the doors really like swing wide open when you're living what you're supposed to be living. Yeah, isn't it interesting, isn't, isn't right? Isn't that something? That's, a, that's the story yeah. of mine exactly. And so many other people that I know yeah. that have followed what was inside that maybe they didn't think was inside. Maybe it was like buried down below kidneys and yeah. lungs and, you know, way in the back. Yeah. But, but when it finally comes out and it's the right thing, it's, right. it's a whole new world. Sure. You said something about a car. Do you still have that Beetle? I still have my oh, my '64 bug. Oh, cutest thing I love ever. it. Yeah. So then I quit the bank job and I like started living off the grid and I got my old bug and I liked. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Look at you. <laughs> so Make my kale cute. and I like live the life. In uh, South yeah. Park, I'm into it. <laughs> and so now we have a good so, kale recipe. <laughs> how hard is how hard is the music business? <clears throat> you know. So I used to have this R&B funk band, yeah. right? And yeah, the guys, they backed like Ike Turner and they were really like funky and soulful and awesome. Yeah. And I worked a lot. And then I met this guy, Rob Thorson, at the Ocean Beach Jazz Festival. Yeah. And we met in the green room. And uh, I, I made a little video because I was all into editing my video. And then I put him in my video and yeah. then we became friends on the Facebook. The Facebook, on thank the you. Facebook. <laughs> thank you for using the proper and term. On the Facebook. Uh, yeah. And he said he, I, I don't know, you saw, saw me on TV or something. You saw yeah, me. Yeah, actually, you were playing on KUSI one morning. Yeah. Uh, like a month afterwards. And I forget what song. It's Stevie Wonder song. And I was practicing my living room. Can you hear him? A little bit. A little bit. You can kind of, well, he yeah. basically said that he really likes working with me only. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways. Yes, I yeah. like. So, 
So, uh, yeah, so then he said he was playing along in his living room while I was on TV. And really? I was like, well, guess what, Rob Thorson? If you're playing along in your living room, I'll go to your living room and play with you. Wow. And he was nice. like, oh, just come over. So he came over, and I was like, wow, Rob Thorson's coming over to jam with me. And then he started playing, and I just got, I love the way it sounded. Oh, that's and so well, I, I love the way. So, so talking about like music being difficult. So then I, I switched all my contacts, all the gigs that I had, the band, even like a lot of the supporters and fans and stuff. They kind of didn't really cross over with me. As sure. Plus, so you went I, you went from funk to jazz. Yeah, but I mean, soulful jazz. Jazz, jazz is kind of like one of those things you won't really be like any good at till you're like 67 or something. Uh, I don't so, know, baby. You are but, very, but, but, very but, but good. I mean, you two together. But, <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? It's like. It's like a whole other level. So I get I'm it. like into studying, I'm into practicing. Yeah. And so it took, I mean, I was just kind of swimming and trying to keep up yeah. at the beginning of the year. So the beginning of the year was like pretty tight. I was like, do I have to move into my bug? Do I have to take the back seat out? <laughs> but wait, so in? now you come here today, Kelly. So she comes in today. We have room. Sometimes and by the way, by the way, trying to, to trying to get in touch with Steph Johnson is not easy. She's ignored the hell out of me over the past <laughs> so day. Not sure. I've I only wanted to have night. one I mean, shitty conversation so I could yeah. connect her with Lynn so we could figure out how to make this <laughs> stuff sound good today. And she comes in today. And she says, I'm just super busy. That's going on. She goes, I, there's times when I wonder, should all this be happening to me right now? Yeah. Is well, this the right moment? Do I deserve it? I think that's like the artist part of you where you yeah. start to doubt yourself when things really start flowing and grooving. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. Though. Well, and anybody, I mean, and then it's because you manifest this, all yeah. this stuff. I mean, whatever you want, whatever you start believing and feeling yeah. and you like are like, yeah. I like you even more now. And then, really and then the phone starts ringing and then you're like, and I'm, I'm the only one who really kind of represents myself at this point right so um i mean there's different booking agents and people that i like deal with but i mean it's me managing my calendar updating my calendar yeah making the meetings scheduling rehearsals so I mean, so when when your website says <coughs> if you want to book steph go to bookings at stephjohnsonband.com that's I miss, you i miss booking <laughs> <laughs> like you so much i like Maybe you so much look there's my face yeah. there's your face there's you. oh my what gosh. i'd say don't look at the monitor oh Steph Johnson music. <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's time for you to Steph play. Johnson, you, tell us what you're going to play. I'm going to play the first. We just recorded a record. Yeah, you did. And it's done. Yeah. And but but it's not out because I need to raise another thousand dollars, which basically means fifty people need to pre-order the CD for twenty dollars. That's all I need. I love, you know 20 what? 20 bucks from 50 people. That is, yeah. that's so <laughs> like, I love that about you, that that's how it works. Well, that's kind of But that's the reality of it. Yes. Yeah. 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 So the record's finished. Yeah. But uh, we just need to press it. But if you like what you hear, mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. record's finished, so then I can send you all the digital files. Ooh. Oh, is that what happens? You can, buy, but but I'll send you like a like an actual hard copy CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, if you like what you hear, this will be like the first tune on the CD. And we did like... Six originals and like five standards. So what's this song and called? It, uh, this is called Chocolate. Okay, so this is uh, Steph Johnson and oh, Rob Thorson shoot. singing Chocolate. I'm going to go sit down over there. Sweet to me, baby. Heaven said you're feeling good to me. Oh, I think about your kisses all the time. And I love what you've done. Oh, to my mind. Oh, yeah. oh it's true. We got ourselves a situation. And I can't help myself, oh, you know I'm just too filled with anticipation. Cause you are like a cool walk on a summer's day. Just like the night, till it rains. And no, I don't want to go far away. Yeah, 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 yeah. to me oh in heaven say you're feeling good to me oh i think i think i've been knowing you for many 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 lifetimes baby what do you think hey yeah, oh it's true we got You are like 
Just like the night, you're just like the night after it rains in the river. Oh I'm my fucking god! <laughs> That's a high All right, one. come here. Sure. Oh, thank that, you so that much. That was huge for me, and we're not done. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> I still have to cook, and these guys at the end they're gonna play again, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So and you we're can, gonna eat your food. You're getting my food. So you can. That, and and I said to, so I said to the staff in the beginning. Me. Rob came in from a, a what do we say? A session. Yeah, recording session. Recording yeah. session. Yeah. And yeah. uh, I hear Steph go, "Do I want me to find you some nuts or something?" Because obviously he hadn't eaten, and apparently Rob gets cranky. And I said, no, I've, I got something, I'll hook you up. And I made something and then uh, I said, Steph, here, do you want some? She goes, I can't eat. Well, I'll get puffy and sweaty. No, my face gets so. <laughs> Every time you eat? Thank you, everybody. Oh, you're right. welcome. Yeah, no, no, if you eat, then you know how you get kind of like it comes out a little bit of your face? Oh, yeah. Oh, me, <laughs> funny. <laughs> They're laughing in the back. It's just me. So anyways, it comes out and then, you know, then I'm thinking of the food. Actually, I played a private party Friday night and I ate yeah. these like amazing, uh, strawberries dipped in chocolate, and I had like a, an amazing <laughs> amount of them. And so then I was trying to sing, and it was like a hot mess the whole time. <laughs> it's a yeah, hot I, mess. Can't I can't imagine you no. being a hot mess. That was unbelievable. Okay, so uh, so you're gonna come back, but yeah, tell yeah. people where to go to buy the album. Okay, so you want to go to Steph, as in Stephanie. That's my big fancy stage name, Steph. Okay, S T H <laughs> Johnson Band .com. There it is. Choop choop. That's where you'll know nice. that you've made it. See over there on the pre-order the new album, and it says donate. So you can donate any amount. Maybe you're really into live music and supporting local artists, independent artists who are like actually trying to like learn music and practice music, and they're not trying to like get up on a TV show and like have somebody just like give them like a million dollars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> did I just go on a little rant? You, did, no, you did just fine. No, but uh, yeah, twenty dollars and you can get the CD. That's cool. awesome. That's awesome. Local girl. I'm into people who do TV too. I'm like into that. <laughs> <but> <laughs> I'm just, <you> know, <laughs> well, I can see the wheels turning. Like, wait, did I just piss off a bunch of TV people? You're not okay. Go, go, right, let's get go, in the kitchen. Old go man. back down. Go, okay, go, go sit back. back. Go, go sit. Go sit, sit down with Rob. The couch. I wait. <laughs> and uh, boys. Yeah. Why don't you just? Why don't you? If you have the if you have the food uh, intro. We, yeah. You well, can you roll can, that, and then we'll. Uh, you want to bring us into it? Yeah, so it's time for us to cook. <laughs> Settle down a little bit, everybody here. We're still having fun. Let's finish the pasta. Let's go, come on. Ready? 
Right, so here's what I've got. I got a hot pot, and I probably could have turned the water on before they started singing. It's going to be ready any time. So see what's happened here? This is now a nice congealed mess. Mm, yes. Uh, it's going to be better than the this. The way we like it. Needs, <laughs> it's the way we like it? Yeah. It needs a little bit more liquid, so I'm going to use a little bit more of this half and half. How cool is this? Is This is. Chris Johnson writes, this rules. It's cool, because this is how I like to cook as well. Put some stuff on, chill, stir a little something, chill, listen to some live jazz, yeah. chill, ding. Yeah, amazing, yes. right? Hey, amazing. In Vancouver, Washington. How do we not, how do we not, uh, Steph will be here every night. Steph, every night? Yeah. Yes. Oh, she's moving in upstairs. Remember, we have the room. <laughs> we got room now. None of the kids can come wow. back ever again. Terry right. writes, it makes her think of a picnic in La Jolla watching the sunset. Yeah. How nice is that, that that's what people think when they hear you? And I love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah we go can't. find Steph Johnson on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I got a page right here. There you go. So what have I got? I've got the pasta that's got to cook. I've got this little uh, deal that's warming back up again. I've got some bread that I'm going to want to cook. I told the boys, don't let me forget the bread. Yeah. We're a little bit early for this, but I can. And look at these noodles. I bought these in Little Italy at. Whoa, what are those? At. What's They're the pizza place? Felipe's? No. Wait, what? What is it? I don't Felipe's. know. Felipe's. Yeah. Felipe's, yes. Felipe's has the pizza restaurant in the back. I mean, Italian restaurant in the back, but in the front, they have the, um, like the store. It's like a grocery market. And I bought these, and look at how cool they are. I don't know what they're called. There's a word. <laughs> Maestri pastai. <laughs> very yes. good. Oh, okay. So I guess we just figured out that your Italian accent is your worst. <laughs> you know, Chuck, you know I was accent I was working on earlier today? Ariana Huffington? No, I, Max, please. This is Ariana Huffington. Don't, don't make fun of me. Um, Christopher Walken. Oh, that's oh, right. creepy. Walken. He Walken. does it really good. Wait, Christopher Walken. Oh, God. God would make this bastard right now. Oh, it's terrible. It isn't terrible. That is awful. That is not a that, bad oh accent. You're so lucky you don't just a have a bunch of work. yes men around here oh to tell God. you how good that is. I have to get the right. cheese out terrible. of the fridge. Mine is so much it's better. It's right there. I can't find it. Oh, wow. You I'll sound like Borat. I do not okay, sound like Borat. Borat. <laughs> it's a good impression. Okay, Borat. <laughs> Idiot. Christopher Walken. God. Was that Max? Yeah. Really? Max. Walking into Christopher Walken. Okay, here, water's boiling. I just want some saucy pasty. So I will now open this. Because in the time that takes this to cook, this will be finished. Oh, hey, we forgot to let everybody know that we are going to be having Steph Johnson and company singing us out. So don't turn this off at the oh, end yeah. because no, no, don't we're going to have some music going at the end. So uh, it's going to be cool. Yeah. All right, so you know how long pasta takes, right? This uh, is about ten minutes. Seven, seven minutes, a little minute, less. Yeah. I know Mom says set a timer, but I have a cooking show and no, fourteen no, 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 Emmys. No. I don't need a timer. What do <laughs> I got? Is, me. This, this is a huge argument for us. This is what I say. Yes, we know how to taste pasta and know if it is done correctly, but your mind is in 15 different places and you're going to go stand in the cul-de-sac for 25 minutes <laughs> and forget that you have the pasta on the stove. Your mom's in 15 different places. Oh my <laughs> God, I was going to say that. <laughs> Stupid. She is in 15 different places. She Nana is, is Nana's all over the <laughs> right. place. She's very savvy. Where is Nana right now? Nana's I, probably in the your Baltic mom is Sea right now. Sam. Can I talk in here or do you want me at the table? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, talk, talk in, in there. there. Why don't you talk about one of our fine sponsors? That would be great. <coughs> uh, if You're I have to, to. <laughs> I know he's like, oh, yeah. ah, fine. If I have to, I was at. I wonder if I can show this picture. Hold on, image you. Lynn and I were laughing about how uh, you were like when you go. I, I think we have uh, the cooking intro. If you guys, <laughs> you know, maybe you want to do that. Or let me uh, let me see if I can find this picture. Hold on. Uh, I was at Fixtures Living yesterday in Costa Mesa. I drove up really there because they did a um, a demonstration. Uh, a teaching session about La Cornue. Do you know what La Cornue is? No. Lynn, do you know what it is? Sounds fancy. La look, up, look up La Cornue. I don't know how to spell Cornue. Uh, if you go to if you go to fixtureslivingcom their products, you'll be able to see it. Uh -huh. It's a French stove of amazing, amazing proportions, design, 
and what it does. And it's pretty simple. One of the first to, have to, to do the French top, you know what a French top is? Mm -hmm. A plaque. La plaque? Plaque? A plaque. Oh, God, wait, I'm about to boil over here. Oh, great. My oh, God, I don't want that to happen. You need a lot of water. You need more water when you're boiling pasta than you think, ladies and gentlemen. But not so much that it spills out of the thing. Well, and see, here's another thing, Sam. Yeah? You're boiling the pasta. It's not meant to be boiled. What is it like meant that? to be? Sure, you dump it in Does boiling water. Does anybody else know that in here? No, you don't. you're the only one. No. Okay, no. it doesn't matter. Wait, shh. Okay. <laughs> so I went to Fixtures Living yesterday. Look, how many places can you go to where not only can you watch a demo, eat the food, but you learn about really amazing pieces of equipment? Like La Corneille. And how many, yeah, La Corneille. There it is. See that? There it is. That's it, the La Corneille. It's unbelievable. Uh, and how many places that sell appliances and, and bathroom stuff have an executive chef? Bridget Boucher did this demo yesterday. She just came back from France. She talked about her time there, but more importantly, how this works, how you fit it into your home, an amazing piece of equipment. They're not inexpensive, I will tell you that. <laughs> but I don't think not. anywhere in North America is there a working La Cornu in uh, an appliance store. Just to show you how special Fixture's living in. And this is the one that's in Costa Mesa. It looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it looks it's really cool. Look, yeah. look at how cool that stuff is, right? That's really cool. The French top is a really interesting concept. Anyway, uh, hey Lynn, can you take my computer? No. Yeah, not at all? Remember, you told me you didn't need to? So I didn't say that. Yeah. Do I have one second to say something? Email it to me soon. A new fan. Oh, I can't yeah, know. go ahead, Mike. too hard. Donald Amariello. Sam, just to let you know, some of the videos on Roku are out of order. That's not what I'm oh, actually saying. Wait, nice to find you here on Roku. Have not seen your show since the Discovery Channel. Yeah. Don in Florida. That's What's up, huge. Don? What's up, Don in Florida? Tell your friends to watch. So for people that don't know. Don, you're in a swing state. There's <laughs> <laughs> All right, Max. Light Max up. is all caught Dude, up. Dude, it's like two weeks till the election. I know it is. I a hope big people one. vote. A big one. Sorry. I'm getting my, uh, <laughs> my strand. Um, for people that don't know, uh, if you know me from San Diego, if you know me from the show here, Southern California, Arizona, you know the show Sam the Cooking Guy. Other parts of the country doesn't know that and they only know me through the show Just Cook This with Sam the Cooking Guy that was on Discovery Health. They didn't have the benefit of all the other shows. So people like Don that's watching where, Kel? Florida. Florida. Thank you, Kel. Thank you, boys, I listening to that. I don't see you. You've been uh, Don only knows him through that. And now wow. it's cool that he's, that he's that found us through here. Attention. Now it's cool that he's found us through here. I like that. Yeah. All right, so let's see how this pasta's doing. I feel like it's not quite exactly ready yet. See, I got all scared. Oh, it looks good Some to me. Some of those pastas, right, that you get fresh in a bag, they take less time to cook, correct? Yes, the fresh ones, absolutely. Well, they're like not exactly like fresh as in it like It looks right good out, to me. What's the actual I like it a little al dente. A little, mm. I just like it a little dente. Not too much dente, <laughs> but just a little dente. Okay, I'm gonna give it like another minute and a half. Yeah, well, see, if you set a timer, you wouldn't be burning your hands. I don't need a timer. I got, I got, this, I got <laughs> no, a professional. No, 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 oh, that's no, no. nice. Lucky licking him. <laughs> Lucky's got his foot right in his mouth. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so here's what we're going to do with this bread. Where's my dog with the cone of shame? Oh, God, this is the cone of shame. So, look, at, if you have dinner, it's easy to, it's easy to uh, open up some bread and just put it on the table like that. I don't like to do that. You know what I say? Heat changes things. I love to, I love to grill it, and so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just take some and cut it like this. Wait, can I just point something out real quick? Sure, man. Wait, th look, this is the picture they have on the um, Discovery, Discovery Health. Health website. How random is that? That's just my parents with a couple neighbors. That's where your dog is right now, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, with them. That's funny. Why is that? I don't know. That's, that's still it's on just, there? Yeah. Wait a second. How weird you is that? You can still find me on this Discovery? Yeah. Help. About me in the show. Wow. There it is. It says Sam with his wife and pals. I guess it's supposed to show you like, oh, he's a normal a guy. He's guy. got friends. And they wanted to do that because nobody else on that channel is normal. And only the front part of your shirt is tucked in. <laughs> Don't oh yeah, it is. Outland. That's funny. God. Okay, here we, here we go. I think I'm gonna take one of these things. I think they're gonna be fine. Yeah, I uh, I agree. 
Yeah, dude. Hey, I'm a little sad that the mm -hmm. cooking competition is over now. Here's a question. What's next? The next competition? Yeah, do we do the same I'd thing? I'd like to get a lot of viewer input on that. I mean, I think that would be, that'd be cool. Don't you think? I kind of okay. want to do a casting call. <laughs> casting call. <laughs> so the pasta and then just gets dumped right in here. Is there Boom. a casting couch involved with your casting call? <laughs> what, Kelly? <laughs> Nothing. Worse. And here's what we're going to add. That pasta looks great. We're going to add butter to this. I don't remember how much, Kel. <laughs> oh, that looks right, right? Oh, I'm not. You know what? You've already wrecked it, so yeah. I am not contributing. Oh, trust me. I You've made this recipe your own. Right. I, I still haven't wrecked Steph, this. And now you're serving her, serving her substandard oh. pasta. Oh, no. There's no, there's <laughs> no substandard. I'm not happy about it. Please don't. No, no. Lucky, don't. <laughs> Lucky, you missed. Get in there. Fast. All right. Go. Uh, some cheese. Some parm. Mm, dude, that looks delicious. What was Lucky just fighting over? Lucky, just or wait. Haley was eating. Oh. No, floor. Lucky was barking because he saw Haley. Right. He saw a dog on the screen that wasn't him, <laughs> except he barks at him too. So this is, we're almost there. I'm going to throw some parsley in here, of course. Parsley? Now's the time that I'm going to take the bread and go face down on the grill. With that thing back up for a sec, Shan. Let me just get a little parsley out of here. Sam, have you ever inadvertently run into Shannon on a shoot? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, Shannon? I'm sure. We bumped into each other. Oh, Lynn wanted to know if we've ever bumped into each other. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. I've never n had parsley in this recipe. You haven't? No. You just wanted to add some green. I wanted you? to add some color, but oh boy, look at this. Oh, damn bad. it, I didn't look record the debate. Look how gorgeous this is. All right, so that's it. Let's do this. Let's get Rob and Steph to step on up. Oh, and yeah. And get back into their positions. Oh, cool, okay. Wow. This isn't work? I'm glad it's not work. I'm glad it's, it's just, I hope it's just enjoyable for you. Oh, I just made a mess of this. Okay, the bread's almost there. You'll see the bread in the pictures. It's not quite ready yet. So was it, It'll be in a second. Time? Are we like to the point where you're you almost, the You're almost there, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, okay, okay. So of course you want a bite that's got a little bit of everything in it, right? Mm. <sighs> oh my God. One. One, two, three. I think there's six ingredients in this. Does that sound right? That was, it's not much more than that if it is. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Wait, and we want the bread, even though it's not quite there. I'll take a piece, just so you can see how bread looks. This is what bread looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea. Interesting. That was good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have one more bite. I'm gonna say I'm really excited. Uh, over tonight. This has been huge. You guys are awesome. I think live music here. Honestly. We think it works, right? Guy, it like totally works. Happen. Here's what we want. We want everybody to go to stephjohnsonband.com. Yes. Mm -hmm. Buy it. Buy the album. Buy it. 50 more people. It's all it takes. Right? Well, even if it was like two more people, that's like that much closer to yeah. Right. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. <laughs> Oh, and uh, and we play all the time. So look at our shows because we're playing this. Oh, your calendar's there. Yeah, I'm playing at 98 Bottles, and it's my birthday show. Happy birthday, Lynn! Oh, yeah, nice. my birthday was a few days ago. Nice. So uh, yeah, I'm so into it. So we're celebrating at 98 Bottles. And I'm still accepting presents. <laughs> <laughs> in the in the form of somebody getting my seat. Okay, go ahead. All right, thank you for being here. Yeah. This is Sam Livecast. Steph Johnson and Rob Thorson get to play us up. Stay and watch. We'll see you Wednesday night right back here live.